I'm on vacation with the family. I'm taking a little nap by the uh, by the pool there. And I got to thinking it'd be good to do a video on vacation preparedness, which I haven't seen very much on. It's sometimes it's difficult to do and function and operate the same way you would at home when you're on vacation. It's just there's limitations placed upon you and you just can't do and carry all the things that you typically would. Um, this is my everyday carry pack that I always have with me and I've done a video on that and you can check that out. Maybe we'll put a link in the description uh, for what's in that. I haven't really changed anything. It's the same stuff that I always carry um, in this pack. On my person, I don't really have a whole lot going on other than my my aquatic goggles here in case I need to do some um, subsurface uh, activities. I don't know. I'm by the pool. I don't want to be a weirdo and wear my usual rubber boots that I typically wear. I've got sandals on. I'm not wearing flip-flops, which is what I used to wear in a situation like this, because flip-flops just don't uh, aren't very good for being very active. In these sandals, these are chacos. In these sandals, I can run, jump, swim, duck, dive, and dodge, whatever I uh, feel like I need to do at the moment. I've got a belt on, um, so I can attach things to it out of my pack if I should need to. Um, a concealed carry is an option that you may or may not be able to have when you're on vacation. I may or may not have one on me right now. Um, and I've just kind of got myself in the mindset of when I come into a place like this, of what what possibly could happen. Uh, I mean, I'm on vacation, I'm having a good time. I'm, I'm not constantly, you know, head on the swivel, you know, but I am aware that there possibly could be something that goes down and I want to be ready for that. So for example, just being situationally aware and in the lo location that I'm at, I've strategically placed myself at the very, very far back of this, this pool area. Um, and that's because if any threats are gonna come in, it's almost certainly gonna be coming from the, the main entrance. Well, I've got three avenues of escape if I should need to get me and my family out of here in a hurry. Um, one behind me right here, there's a really, really short fence. It's only about four feet high with some hedges in front of it. Easy to get over. I could toss the kids over that, no problem. And I could escape past the tennis courts there and get my way uh, and the fam out of here really, really quickly. Um, and it's just those types of things that I keep in mind when I'm, when I come to places like this, public places like this that are crowded and not right now, this, it's about closing time so everybody's pretty much gone. But when it's really, really crowded, um, I just like to keep those things kind of in mind. Another thing just to keep in mind is, is not getting completely inebriated sitting by the pool. Um, <laughs> if you are, you know, wasted out of your mind sitting by the pool, uh, how aware are you going to be of your surroundings? And set. We're staying at a house that's not far from here, walking distance, less than a mile from here and I could easily get me and my family to the house, no problem. If you're in a hotel, and this is the pool area for the hotel, that might be a totally different scenario for you, and you'll need to think that stuff through and figure out what your plan of escape will be and where you might need to go from there. Um, for us, it's fairly simple. I, I know how to get back to the house really, really quickly. My kids know how to get back to the house. My wife knows how to get, get back to the house. Um, whether we're separate or not, we know where we're gonna regroup, and it's not gonna be that big of a deal. I refuse to live my life like the world is coming to an end and I can't go on vacation with my families. I, I, I think that it's really, really important to continue life and enjoy your life. I mean, because really, what's the point of all this preparedness, all of this prepping, if, if you're not going to enjoy it? You know, what's, what's the point? If you can't have fun with your kids in the pool and go on some vacations every now and then. Um, I'm just not one of those people that's going to live in a bunker the rest of my life. and. And, and miss out on all of this. So I, I also think it's important to keep kind of your finger on the pulse of, of the world and, and the way things are going. Right now, things aren't too bad and it's, you know, easy coming and going across borders and things like that. 
cities aren't on fire at the moment. Um, but if that was to change, then maybe, you know, they hit the vacation in South Florida is not the best option for you. But right now, things are good and we're having a great time. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next one.